ready to start unlike natural calamities that are beyond human control avoidable disasters resulting from human error or negligence prove more tragic and completely imbalance their intergenerational equity and cause irretrievable damage to the health and environment for generations to come such tragedy may occur from pure negligence contributory negligence or even failure to take necessary precautions in carrying on certain industrial activities more often than not the affected parties have to face avoidable damages and adversity that results from such disasters the magnitude and extent of adverse impact on the financial soundness social health and upbringing of younger generation may have been beyond human expectations in such situations and where the laws are silent or are inadequate the courts have unexpectedly stepped in to bridge the gaps to provide for appropriate directions and guidelines to ensure that fundamentals of article 21 of the constitution of india are not violated the bhopal gas tragedy is a glaring example of such imbalances and adverse impacts where by courts intervention poor and destitute have been provided relief and rehabilitation the bhopal gas leak disaster occurred on the intervening night of the 2nd to 3rd of december 1984 data reflecting the exact number of affected persons was not available initially earlier it was felt that only a small number of persons were adversely affected in terms of health or otherwise by the leakage of toxic gases from the union carbid unit at bhopal however the scientific commission for continuing studies on effects of bhopal gas leakage on life systems released a report titled the bhopal gas disaster effects on life systems in july 1987 which suggested otherwise this report stated that for the estimated population of 2 lakh exposed to the toxic gas in the severely and moderately affected areas of bhopal and the variety of long term problems anticipated in the crisis period the number of exposes covered so far by the indian council of medical research through the medical service constitute less than 20% of the population with the passage of time this figure of the affected population has fallen to nearly 5 lakh by the same scientific commission it was also found that in general the output of the medical project so far had not equaled the magnitude of the tasks assigned to them presumably due to lack of resources trained staff as well as physical inputs this has to be remedied in the shortest time so that project is completed fully an opportunity for mounting such a massive long term longitudinal study on a population exposed to a one time acute chemical stress may not present itself again and hence it would be a pity if that opportunity was missed various steps were recommended by the scientific commission from time to time 
to tackle the two main aspects of this disaster firstly health care of the affected victims and secondly research work with the object to deal with the acute problems arising from this disaster on the one hand and to suggest preventive steps on the other writ petition number 50 of 1998 was filed by the bhopal gas sufferers as a public interest litigation under article 32 of the constitution this petition was founded on the rights available to the victims of the bhopal gas disaster under article 21 of the constitution and it was prayed that they were entitled to receive free and proper medical assistance from the respondents the union of india and the state of madhya pradesh it was also prayed that the respondents be directed to take effective steps in that regard with inter alia included providing of free medicines and preparing a detailed plan of medical rehabilitation that ensured the availability of basic medical facilities to the gas victims lastly it was also prayed that the icmr be directed to resume and conduct research studies and to make public the reports published by it so as to provide the basic ground for issuance of appropriate directions by this court this court has been passing various directions right from the filing of this petition and has directed certain effective and positive steps to be taken by the union of india as well as the state of madhya pradesh to ensure providing of appropriate medical treatment to the gas victims it is no use referring to the different orders passed by this court from time to time in detail however we will be referring to some of the important orders in brief which have a bearing on the issue pending before this court and for passing of the final directions to begin with the icmr had broken certain research works immediately after the bhopal disaster and appropriate steps had been taken as claimed by the state and the central government to deal with the medical problem of the gas victims however it appears from the record and has been averred before us that after 1994 the icmr allegedly took an irrational decision to disband all bhopal gas disaster related medical research stop